hey, welcome. I hope you're having an amazing day and I hope that you're ready for 2019. I was watching The Financial Diet, which is a really great um, finance geared YouTube channel. And um, one of the creators on that channel posted a seven things I'm anti-hauling in 2018. So things that she had in 2018 that she will not be bringing with her to 2019. And I thought that was a really interesting twist on an anti-haul um, instead of stuff that you're not gonna go out and buy, it's stuff that you already have that you are not bringing into the new year with you. And I think it's really nice during that time to kind of declutter and get rid of things that you know don't serve you anymore. So this is kind of my response video to that and I wanted to do my own. So here are seven things that I will not be bringing into 2019. I wanna start off with jeans. <laughs> jeans that I don't wear. Like this is just an example of one that I don't wear, but uh, these are from Free People. And I love them and they're so pretty, but I just don't ever wear them. I think in terms of wash, I'm not a fan of light wash jeans. I also um, think the fit is really important. I think we all have jeans that are just kind of sitting in the closet. I have like them piled up, like folded and piled. So I know whatever's at the bottom of those piles, I do not touch. And there's no reason to bring these jeans into the new year. I know I'm not gonna wear them and there's no reason for me to have them. I mean, really with any clothes in general. Sometimes we outgrow stuff um, and we just don't find that it fits our style or our, our mood anymore. And um, I think that's okay. And I think we need to let go of stuff to kind of feel better a la KonMari. The next is perfumes that I don't like anymore. Um, certain perfumes just either the scent doesn't suit me, it doesn't feel like me anymore, or it reminds me of something that I just can't associate with anything else. Like if I use the perfume, I think of that. So I just, scent is a very, very personal thing and it's really hard. This one particularly, I've just gotten really, really tired of and I didn't even use that much up. Look, you can see like there's still a ton left in it and it's, um, Burberry London. I just used it so much when I first got it and I thought I loved it and now every time I use it, I just, I hate the smell. I just really don't like it anymore. So um, definitely adding this to my anti-haul, just perfumes that don't suit me, that I have lying around that are just gonna go bad. Give them away, donate them, I don't know. Cause you know I'm trying to smell bougie going into that new year. <laughs> Next, lipsticks. Now this one's just an example. I love this lipstick, but um, I gave away all the ones that I don't like. I recently did a lipstick declutter and I decluttered a ton of lipsticks, so I don't really have any of those anymore. Old lipstick is definitely one thing I will not be bringing into the new year. Whether it's old or I don't use it, it's just excess material and stuff that I don't need and I would rather have less lipstick that I actually love and use versus having tons of colors that I don't even reach for. Next shoes. <laughs> Some of you may think this is hideous. I thought it was really cute when I first got it, but then I realized my feet are already big, so the extra pointy toe doesn't really work. Like if it ended here, it might be okay, but it's just extra, extra pointy, so it makes my feet look extra big, first of all. Second of all, it's very uncomfortable. These are from Zara, and um, I ended up paying, I think like $12 for them. It was like on super sale, so it, it's not a huge deal, but the back ended up giving me the worst blisters I've ever had, and this was barely walking at all. Like I think I got out of the apartment, took an Uber somewhere, then went upstairs and I had the worst blisters. My feet were almost bleeding. Um, but third of all, it just doesn't suit my style. I think I planned on wearing this with like all black, just like pop of color, but it just never happened. And I think having shoes lying around that you aren't using, is just a waste of space and it's cluttering up space for stuff that I actually would wear. So definitely wanting to get rid of shoes. And I did do that already. I took a ton of my shoes, the new ones I took to donate, and then the older ones I gave away to friends and family. But um, there's no point in having that extra clutter lying around the house. Next, nail polish. Ooh. So I did do a nail polish declutter as well recently. Uh, not recently, but this year at some point. I had tons, like boxes and boxes of nail polish, and I don't even know how I amassed that much nail polish. It is just not okay, especially for one person. It's just ridiculous. So I think that there are a handful of colors, maybe five or six, and I think I kept about 10. I've been narrowing down even since that declutter, but uh, it's just absolutely pointless to have so many. I'm not gonna wear them. One person can never use all of those up, and it's just a waste, a waste, waste, waste. Next is just in general, I think lots of eyeshadows, like colors of makeup that I never wear. For example, this one, which I was really excited about, it's the color, <laughs> the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the color Telepathy, and it's a bright AF yellow, and I just tried it on the other day and it looked like crap on me. So, you know, colors like this, I'll give away to somebody who will actually use them. 
I just think it's pointless to keep makeup that's either not your color or just doesn't suit you anymore or that you just don't like. Next is jewelry. Ah, I love jewelry. If you can see me wearing, I'm always wearing jewelry in my videos, but there are certain things that I bought because I impulse bought them and I thought I would love them and I just haven't worn them. For example, I've worn these in probably two videos and that is probably the only time I've ever worn these earrings. You may have seen me use these uh, and they are very, very cute, but they're just not my style. They don't feel like me and I'm never inclined to reach for them and it just, it just, it was definitely an impulse. And I remember the earrings that I bought with them are the ones I actually wanted and wear a lot. And it was like, buy one, get one half off. I was like, oh, I need an extra pair. No, you didn't need an extra pair, <laughs> but I have them now. Um, so I'll probably give these away to a friend, somebody that would like these more and use them more. So those are my seven things that I'm anti-hauling this 2018 um, because I don't want to go into 2019 with extra clutter and saltiness. Uh, let me know what you're decluttering, if you're decluttering anything for, or anti-hauling anything for 2019. I would love to hear it. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.